Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We are joined, as always, by ST Hedgehog. Evening, all. Hello, hello. And I have, well, I have taken out all of the green circuit stuff I put in because I want to change it. And what are you doing? Uh, well, we've done a few little things off camera. The uh, biggest one would be we updated the game, remember? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Uh, so... Uh, we completely forgot about that. We 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 updated to uh, eighteen point eighteen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, we've been just going around checking everything works off camera, making sure everything's good. Um, obviously, you've pulled out green circuit there. I've added a bit of logic to the train because we had an issue of them turning up at the first stop and then not going to any other ones. Yeah, which was a bit of a problem. So I'm gonna. I've done it to the uh, copper and iron. I'm just gonna do it to the steelworks over here and uh, show everyone how I did it. And um, you're gonna rebuild whatever you're building there. I don't know. You were going about blueprints and stuff. And I, I, yeah. yeah uh, still me. I am gonna set up uh, copper, well, uh, green circuits with uh, beacons. So that we have a more efficient production. So we'll put, um, put that here. Right. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, because uh, point eighteen gives you beacons, doesn't it? Gives you uh, uh, instead of putting. It it has beacons. It, it had beacons in seventeen as well. Oh, did it? Ah, yeah. okay. But did they do the same thing? Did they do the, the speed yeah. upgrades? Yes, they did. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I I thought that. Was... I don't know. What, what changes are there for eighteen then? What's? Uh, well, mainly what uh, the only thing I have noticed so far is the inventory thing, where we now have three tabs: a tab for crafting, a tab for the character where we can actually change the color and stuff, and a yeah. tab for logistics. Yes. Yeah, which is quite cool because you can set what you want also set a limit on what you want yeah so it'll only give you that many and if you get any more than that it will take them away yes it's quite cool i like i like that i like that too it's very nice but yeah and there are obviously a lot of graphical changes the map is a lot easier to see now. it is i think i think i feel as if the map's easier to see it might be because uh it's, it's i think the colors are clearer yeah, that could be. Yeah, I didn't think the colours are clearer, so. Right, so, uh, the, the logic I was doing here to make these trains quite simple. R right now, the trains will just go to the first stop they come to. Mm -hmm. Every time. Um, and if there's a train in there, they'll just... If there's a train in there, they'll go to the next one. But if there's not, they'll just turn up and then wait for ages. Uh, the copper or iron is not being used. So I've added a bit of logic to basically check a single chest, and if the chest has got more than a certain amount of iron in it, or copper in it, or whatever, uh, it will turn off the rail stop. So the trains won't come. I'm hoping it doesn't cause a problem with the copper, although I don't see our copper trains. Where are they? They're all stuck at the top again. Yeah. Yeah. They're all, they're uh, all stuck at the top. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm I think right we next. need to... I think we need to call one of them copper ore pickup and the one other one copper ore pickup too. So that they don't all go up there. They, yeah, I mean, they shouldn't really. Because um, they should. Uh... Oh, not long enough. But yeah, they shouldn't. They should, they should go. To wherever one's not in use. So if they can't path up to the top one, they should go somewhere else. I think the issue is that I'm having the trains double back over themselves. Yeah, that could be. Can you get the exit into the roundabout somehow? Hold on, for some reason I'm missing. Oh yeah, I think I removed that an episode or so ago. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember why I moved that as well. 
it is one square too short to allow a train to come through. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, all four of our copper trains are up here. Yeah, I need to... Um... Change this. I mean, I've got another... I've got another roundabout there. I don't know why I've got another roundabout over there. I don't know what I was thinking. That one. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll make a small change here. Um, let's do. Ah, I use stack inserters there. I really want it to be stack inserters. Uh... Oh, turn my rubber hot on. That would probably help. We don't want to remove that. Oh, uh, no one do that. That was a take. No oh, well. uh, And then we'll bin rail about here. No way to put in the about. Damn. I've uh remove things off this rail and I don't know I don't even know why I put this roundabout in up here. It seems a bit a bit redundant, but kinda glad I did it. Because now I can use it. Making some copper cables, but not a lot because I want stack inserters. Yeah, we are a bit low on everything. Uh, yeah, re really, we need inserters and stuff. Yeah. Um, but in order to prioritize. get that, in order to get that started, we need the the, um, the electronic circuits. That is true. Okay, so... Okay, so now rails in here. Ah. Oh. Turn my rubber report on. I thought I, I thought I had that. So I did. Ah, uh, now I get it. So I want to keep ten of these on me. And if I have more than fifty, then take them away. Okay, now I get it. There we go. Okay, okay. Okay, that one. Okay, that one. To remove that. Off you go. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here is setting up my uh, personal logistics network. So if I have less than 50 splitters, they'll bring to me. If I have more than 100, then they'll take them away. And we'll do the same with the rails for sure. Have more than 100. Can't, can't. So really annoying. You can't just move over the tracks a little tiny bit and then move them back again. Yes, they've got to go at least a certain amount. Yeah, they have, and it is quite annoying. 
Cause... Whoa! Ow. Uh, yeah, because this roundabout... ...is in quite a bad place, really. Which roundabout is that? Well, not not the roundabout. The um, I need to move the whole the whole stop, the whole train stop needs to be moved. Basically, oh, that's the problem. Two hundred. If I have more than four, then take it away. One, feel it. You can't, uh, got moved over one point, you connect back to the rail. Didn't realize what we're doing there. Train there isn't a move option for things. What do you mean? Uh, the ability to just like highlight loads of things and go move over to there. Ah, uh, yeah. But there definitely isn't. Right. Um Okay. And then I want stack inserters. Ah, actually all the train the copper trains are coming up here, which I really thought they'd automatically spread out. Uh I think they just go to the nearest one. But I suppose oh, but you I could if the nearest one if they couldn't path to the nearest one, then they'd They'd spread out like they do with the uh, the drop offs. Yeah, but I guess you could. Uh, you you could do it with a circuit net network, right? Say if there's if there's a, a train there at at the train stop, then go somewhere else. Oh yeah. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? Oh, oh he's just gone a completely different route because I've given him an option. You're way close. Yeah, way close. This is okay. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw this rail stop here, so the trains will bugger off somewhere else. And then I'm going to completely rebuild that. But I am going to go over to the steelworks first. And uh, show this logic that I was going to do at the start of it. It's very simple, but I just thought it might be helpful to someone to know how it works. Uh, so I have uh, a decider combinator. Put it down anywhere. It's got some form of power. Now what you want to do is grab a cable. Doesn't matter if it's green or red. Uh, go from any chest. I'm picking one of the chests in the center because they seem to be the ones that fill up first because of the way I've got it unloading. And go to the power point, go to the combiner, cancel the run, and then go from the other side of the combiner to circuit, the, uh, the uh, rail signal, sorry. And then what we do is in the combiner, we say we're looking at iron ore, and if iron ore is less than... Uh, sorry, is greater than, uh, say, 200, I think, was what I set it to. Two, three, four, five. No, it's 500. One, one stack. So if it's got one whole line in the top of it, it can be whatever number you like. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then we say output on, I'm just using black, output of one. And in here, we, it's already here because I was testing it earlier on. Uh, if the output is one, then close the signal. So if this chest here fills up to 100% or fills up an entire line, it will turn that signal off. You can test that by grabbing all the iron from elsewhere. I really need to turn off the side because it's not. Okay. dropping in now it's got more than 500 in there you see the rail circuit is turned off even though there's no train here so it won't send any trains to this stop 
And we've done that because all the trains are named exactly the same. The iron drops are named exactly the same. So the tra iron trains will then go, which stop can I go to? Well, that one's blocked off, so I can't go there. That one's blocked off. Oh, that one's free. Go to that one. And that's how it should work. Now, I've noticed the copper has completely blocked up. And I don't know why. Okay, that. And then we'll fix the right top corner. Trains. Who'd have them, eh? Complicated thing. Well, Factorio is right. a complicated That's game. Right. Uh, yeah. Yes, I kind of agree. I want to do. Didn't put the rail signals after the stop. After after the turn off, so. All the trains were sat back waiting somewhere. Okay. okay so so you wasn't... now can't find copper pickup? Why can't you find copper pickup? What? There's the green circuit one. That's called copper ore pickup. There are no trains with. And a call pick up. Ah, uh, there's a. There's a. That's. It might have been working absolutely fine. The uh, southern copper ore pickup had two spaces in it. Uh huh. So it was named differently. Ah. Oh. So this, uh, this, uh, this current system might be working, but all the trains could only go to one stop because the other stop was named wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of robots chasing me, trying to get all this iron ore out. I'm sorry, robots. I'm abandoning you. I'm going over to... Okay. Ah, that's a problem. That's a problem. You should not have gone down there. Okay. Can I make some soft stations? I can. Uh, uh, damn it. Um. Why did you choose to go down that stop there when that is blocked off? You should not have done that. Bad train. Bad, bad train. Okay, now. Okay. This comes yep. out here. And. I, I do kind of have a feeling that my train stop system isn't working anyway. Okay. The vertical one. Um, it works, but it needs more space because you need um, uh, places for trains to park. Ah. Uh, so I think instead I need to basically kind of copy what you've done, top. Mhm. Mm okay. Have a, a parking system. Because now we've got trains here that parked up and waiting. Which actually, this makes sense that trains are parked here waiting. Because they're waiting to fill up the copper. Okay. So let's plug in that other copper stop at the top. You don't really need to be that. a stack inserter, do you? Uh... I upgraded the iron. Or pick up stack inserters and found out it doesn't work all that well. Uh, the belts okay. can't supply the chests with enough. Uh huh. Uh, but that's but until that's we get blue belts. That that's that's true. But I also think that's because we've got four trains running on one stop. 
Ja. Kan maar even kies. So how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Off this road. Drop. I wonder how many I can use because if we look at this machine here, which has all the the speed modules and it has uh, efficiency modules here as well. Though I think I want to change that to productivity modules. Uh, then we have a, where does it say, crafting speed 3.45 plus 360% crafting speed. Are you going to uh, end up causing me to build a bigger nuclear power plant? Yes. Right, okay. <laughs> Because um, I watched you. You recommended during the week. Um, oh, what was the name? Z uh, Zest two. Uh, Sisto. Sisto. Yeah. That's how you pronounce that. Yeah. Um, and uh, he did a video. If anyone hasn't watched that, he's got a really weird way of playing. Of not a weird way, sorry. It's, it's, everything is blueprints, and and it's it's just odd to watch, but really satisfying. Um, yes. But he built a nuclear reactor, which makes my one look. At uh, <laughs> um, and I'm like, I really like the look of that. I want that. I don't know whether we'll share the blueprint. If not, I might just pause the video and try and copy it off. But it's way bigger than what I currently have here. But it's got space in it. So potentially, I could run the trains through the middle of it. Yeah. I think, maybe. I'm not too sure on how that works. Because I don't know... Obviously, heat pipes can't go over trains, though. That probably wouldn't work, actually. But, no. Uh, so we might slightly uncentralize the uh, nuclear power plant and put it somewhere else, like above that water. So we'll see. Yeah, what am I looking for? Okay. Here? Okay. So, so clearly a train has been and gone. Okay. You are. And then I want the. So, so yeah, I, th I think one. you're right. I think they do definitely um, go to the closest one. But if the closest one is <clears throat> busy, if the train signals are red anywhere, they'll then try and path to the next one. Yeah. And if a train is parked at the stop, then the signal before it is red, so they should then pick the other stop. That That's, sounds right. We've also changed the train slightly. I don't know if I did that off camera or on camera. Um, when they go to a stop, they either wait for empty cargo or 120 seconds. Uh, we've done that because this whole logic thing means that a train could come in, drop off two lumps of ore, and then go and stop and do nothing. So now they're always moving. Yeah. You've chosen to come up. Okay, that's that going. You iron, copper, no. Whoops. Yeah, I think at the moment it's picking the top corner one because uh, they're they're both closed off, so it's just trying to figure out the closest one. But when that bottom one opens up, when there's no trains there, it should carry on moving. I hope. Don't know. We will see. But, uh, but yeah, this this style of of parking up, having trains be able to park up, is really good. I don't. I'm really confused to see at your parking by the copper. You've got two lots of signals right next to each other. Um, maybe. Is that not on purpose. 
Uh, let me just take a look. Oh, you've got it in both places. You've got chain signals, and then right next to it, you've got a normal signal. Oh, uh, that's not on purpose, I think. Oh, okay. Right, okay. So I think I could build that. I think I could have the trains coming off there. Come down to a parking. Come along and park, drop off. And then we just got to belt it back, which is kind of awkward. Sick. If we had three train stops, we'd have to split it into six ways. Mm. Yeah, it's doable. Don't know. It's just uh, I've I've not really left that much space for these stops. They they are literally. If you turn down, you when you turn back again, you end up on the main rail. Not that much space. I made it very compact. Hopefully it works though. Hopefully it starts balancing itself out and it starts working. Okay. That would be nice. Okay, so this is now done. Isn't it? Oh, no, quite done. Right, that's green so I'm gonna move this over. And, uh, so Now I think we need at least one more section like this. So if we create a blueprint. Like that. Drop uh, it. Green. Uh, I want you and you're uh... wrong. No, I'm not. I'm always right. Uh, uh that's well. <laughs> okay, I can't argue with that. <laughs> but um. <laughs> In my defense, I was actually talking to a RoboPort. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and not not that it's wrong. That that that's that's I shouldn't have said that. It's not wrong. It's in the wrong place. That's what I should. Because otherwise, I'm sure I would have hurt his feelings. We don't want RoboPorts with hurt feelings. Now. No. Certainly not. Our robots are lovely. They're brilliant. We work them like absolute dogs. They still just carry on. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use roundabouts in places that I really don't need to. Okay. Um, just because I can. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, right, I should probably turn this stop off here. I don't know how many... Yeah, that's better. I still find it weird that a single train cargo is the uh, same size as a steel box. Yeah, that is quite odd. I wonder why you only have on this side. Right. That's weird. Oh, hey, okay. you're going to there. But you're not, you're going to stop there. Why? Why Why would you do that? Why would you choose to do that? Okay, no, my logic doesn't work. My logic doesn't work. Your logic it appears is when all, illogical. When all the stops are turned off, uh, the train just chooses to go to the, to the first one and just stops and gets stuck. Oh. So my, my drop-off system does not work. I'm going to have to rebuild it, I think. The same as this. This I think you are absolutely right about the pickups. It's not. Although for you. Yeah, you're a cop. No, no, you went down there. Okay, so we have one go down and four come up here. Odd. That is odd. It's just I was trying to avoid having different names for the pickups 
because um, you then got to choose which trains go to which places. Yeah. And it's sort of like a. Uh, but then I suppose if all the drop offs are named the same, it shouldn't really matter because it should still balance itself out. Yes. Yeah, it should. It should. Okay. Okay. Right. I'm now going to cut off this train here so no more. No. So you have one train per drop off, not per pickup. You but would say three of them go here, three of them go there. Yeah. They are they are going down to the bottom one as well. Just they're very they're a lot more often coming to the top one. Okay. Okay. Remove there. Leave the rubber pool. Probably leave. Let's make a deconstruction. Kind of thing. Bump. Let's see. Can I make a oh, I did try off camera as well, playing about with that um, upgrade planner. Yeah. And uh, that's not complicated. It, it, it there's there's a, a lot to it, but it's not overly complicated. No, it should be pretty straightforward, right? Uh, like upgrade red belts to blue belts upgrade blue machines to yellow that, machines etc that that was the thing that got me I, I obviously i clicked it and then i could drag over things and i was mm -hmm. like oh so i drag over them and it just upgrades them to the next one i didn't realize that you can in your inventory right click on it and it brings up that menu uh-huh i didn't know that so i was like ah right okay so this, uh, okay now now i know that's there that's that makes sense okay so yeah that's what i got confused feel but not a problem now to win go robots go ah, you didn't take the talent why did you not take the talent always always take concrete bizarre Stack inserters. Ooh. Gotta say, the night vision seems a bit more washed out. Uh, yeah, could be. Could just be me. Don't know. Don't know. Could be a saying. Uh, but we are at the 32 minute mark. Oh. Well, I guess it's time then. So, um. Nothing. Yeah, I guess we'll, uh continue on in the next one then uh yes yes i think we will yeah okay so thank you very much for watching guys we hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time have fun <laughs>